Hey, this is my review of the Milan Clover Cube. Now, you may be thinking, it looks a lot like the um, G Clover Cube. That's an edge turning puzzle. And I don't have that puzzle, but if you notice, you look carefully. Corners, um, and the edges, and then the, the face look. It doesn't look like the corners would be separated in order, unlike on the cl clover cube from Kai T actually. But this is actually a 3x3, three three. so it's a face turning puzzle, as you can see. Um, which, this thing actually turned really well. What I've done is, uh, taken it apart completely, uh, wiped down the factory lube, uh, and put my own lube in it, and, uh, it actually turned really well, and even looped the screws, and probably adjusted it. And it turns really well. Want to cut? Really well. Um, reverse corner cutting. It has some, um, but not a whole lot. Um, since this is basically a three by three, it's all like a three by three, except. For one thing, if you notice on the face, it, you can only see from the outside of it, the edges and the corners. So, essentially, it looks like a void cube. But, it does have colored centers um, inside it. So it has hidden internal centers. And when I got mine, um, it had four of these centers, uh, like, along the equator, unsolved, while well, these two are solved, or something like that. I don't really remember, but the centers were unsolved, so I tried resolving it, uh, with center orientation, quick, uh, and I ended up getting, uh, void cube parity. And so what I did was I took it out, took the edges out and place them back in quickly so that uh, it can be solved quickly each and every time. So let me show you what the internal mechanism looks like of this. Um, so the internal look the centers and the edge internals and stuff is like basically a ball inside it. Uh, so here's what the corners look like. Uh, and the edge internal. So and now let me show you this. If you can look right there, there's no um, torpedo anchor piece that hooks over the corner, the base of the corner stock, like what you would see on most speed cubes nowadays, like from Chigan, um, Diane, Diane, um, Moyu, uh, and whatnot. No. Um, but, if you notice, um, the Milong series, um, uh, has been lacking that, um, feature, especially for the big cube, and, um, well, the 3x3, three three. well, I do have the Milong 3, um, the original Milong 3, which is upstairs, um, on my desk, next, right next to my computer, um, but, yeah, it does actually have the, um, 
torpedoes, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. And if you were to look at, um, uh, let's say the Milong 4, um, uh, by 4, um, or the Milong 2, or the Milong 5 by 5, and then compare it to, like, uh, let's say, Moyu, um, 5 by 5, like the Ochwang 5 by 5, GTS 5 by 5, magnetic one, uh, you see a difference with the base of the corner of the star, well, the base of the edges and the corner shock. And putting this back together, you saw, yeah, I had a pop and stuff, so it's kind of difficult to put together. And even saying that without the torpedo um, anchoring system, this still has a really high pop resistance due to the outside and outside face um, piece look uh, in ways of it hooking together. So yeah. Anyway, um, this when turning this like uh, solving it like a normal three by three and whatnot. Um, Faith, like it, the edge, sense of the edge shape, um, and it has the kind of sharp points on it. Um, it finger tricks can be tricky, no, because of way that how um, it would be like with your the way that you normally would grip it like this and then turn it. The the sharp point would be rubbing against your fingernails, um, and it's kind of tricky. It, at first, it's kind of a bit uncomfortable, but you can get used to it, though, and adjust your grip so that it can, um, prevent it, but it's still not always um thing that you think about and this is a unique 3x3 three three that um with the face pattern that's not in the normal grid 3x3 three three square grid pattern like you would see on something like the Gion cube um and yeah this is Gion 356 um X um no version 1. Um, and just looking at this, this Milong, um, 3x3 three three clover cube thing, it just looks like it's a little smaller, like maybe a 55 millimeter size. But, other than that, it's pretty good of a decent 3x3. Three three. Uh, so it's like about five dollars for about between like three and five dollars depending on where you buy it but if you want a unique three by three that is a bit different from your standard three by three out there I would recommend getting this no and it turns good feels good works good and looks good. So, I only recommend this puzzle. And for the price of it, it's actually pretty decent, though, of a puzzle. Though. So, there's that.